like uh, you could use it out of shield as well. So normally I really rate upbeats you could use out of shield. So like an example I could think of is like Pikachu's, Pichu's. Like you can't really use it out of shield. Yeah, Pikachu's is still like top five because yeah. it's just Sorry, no, such a I, I will I will correct that. Pikachu's you could use out of shield, Pichu's you can't. It, I mean like but why would you use Pikachu's up the out of shield when you have like nah? Yeah, but that's the thing. You've got, you've got so many options that it doesn't really matter anyway. But yeah. the point is, like, when you have an upbeat that you can use out of shield, that's already pretty nice as it is because it's an added mix up you can. So yeah. the fact that he's got an out of shield option, he's got it for recovery, and he's got it as a potential kill move, it does make it really strong. Yeah. For me, top three uppies, I would say, is like um, Lynx, I Don't Knows, Game and Watch. Maybe, maybe Bayonetta, maybe. Like, um, I'm judging these moves in context, so Bayo's isn't that excellent on another character. Bayo's is so excellent because it confirms it to a Nair, Psy-B, everything else, also being an amazing recovery, but on another character, I couldn't see it being as good. Yeah. Anyways, we will be progressing to the next winner's quarterfinals, which is Jay Dizzle and Zab. Game Watch now, Link Warrior? Yeah, I can see that. Now, Zab has been playing pretty well today. Um, I... I don't really remember where he's meant to be seated, but I think he's performing uh, about to he's where he's seated. Eighth. Yeah, so, so yeah, he's, made, he's made a seat. Yeah, so he's made his seat. So, and look, he's been playing pretty solid today. Like, nothing too uh, special, but at the same time, like, he looks pretty good today. So. And this is Jono we're talking about. Yeah. The thing is, though, his opponent is Jay Dizzle, who is, you know, if not arguably, uh, is probably considered the best uh, player we have in the I region. Defi I definitely think he is biggest fan. Club up the outer shield is pretty good, but it's a terrible recovery. Yeah. Oh, Jono. I don't know if that was a misinput. Yeah. Or what was going on there? The, but. Weird, weird up. I think that was supposed to be grounded. Doesn't really get punished for it. Oh though, my so god. Oh, 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 that's tragic. That's that's so tragic. Oh man, you hate to see it. Like really well done there from Zav to try and get like the hard. Um, the hard read with his down B, and then just dies for it anyway. So. Yeah, he, he did. Um, I, that's his neutral B, by the way. Down B is our oh, turn up. Yeah, sorry. It's been a while for me. I've been out of the game for a while. I do oh, apologize. Is this your first tournament in a while? Yeah, look, it's been a few months. Yeah, all right, um, sick. I just haven't been able to play the game, so uh, if I mix, uh, if I mess up the terminology, I do apologize in advance. A equals J does a fan club leader, and I have the shirt to prove it. He does. I, I, unironically, I do have a J does biggest fan shirt. Great. I feel like the end of this game is coming up pretty soon. Yeah, look, we can clearly see that John is like playing really well at this stage. Um, That's an up Like he's oh, made he he's made a couple back. of mistakes, but nothing really like too noticeable other than that we That's death. up the end. Yeah, that's that's Ooh. the stuff there. Almost a two minute game though. Two yeah. minutes one second. Look, when we're talking about someone as strong as John, like it's to be expected. Like, because like I believe. Re-raise is probably the best player mechanically, but in terms of like the best overall product, it has to be Jacob. So he's just he just gives you a bit of everything. He's good with his combos, he's good with his reads, he's good with his like understanding of game state, he's good with flow, he's good with hey, on him. Is uh Amis running today? Three, two, one, go! Is Amis running today? Alright. Alright, so we're headed to the second game. And battlefield. Yes, we're uh, taking the battlefield. So, um, I mean, I'm assuming obviously this was Zab's preferred pick um, in terms of all the maps he could choose off in general. But I'm pretty sure this is a good stage for Young Link, but I know next to nothing about Peach other than Turnip. So. Yeah. Look, my my thinking here is that what he's probably trying to do as the Peach is allow the platforms to kind of use as like a resetting tool to kind of limit the amount of quote-unquote camping that Jono can do, but at the same time, like, Jono could just do the same thing and just let you camp. Um, oh, so that Nair is too strong, man. Yeah, it's a so really, dumb. really nice call out there to kind of put the pressure on Zav and really make him think about his, uh, his life choices. I point. was about to say the same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. look. Hey guys, I'm leaving the weekly. I just want to say goodbye to all the fans, all the Ella fandom in the chat. Um, yeah, once again, subscribe to Cash Race Twitch. Goodbye. Take care, Pudge. See you later, Pudge. Everyone say goodbye to Pudge yep, in the so chat. Sure, just in case if no one could recognize the voice that was Pudge uh, saying his farewell. Or Drunk and Run, or whatever you want to call him. <laughs> whatever uh, floats the boat, I suppose. But uh, anyways, fair. redirecting our attention back to the match at the moment. Um, it's not 
looking great, I could say. Like, yeah, it's I not agree. terrible. I've definitely seen, like, a lot worse. But I think Zab's just trying to... He's just kind of struggling to, like, throw out an option that makes Jono question what he needs to do next. Jono unable to blend the kill there. That fair just coming... Just fair not coming out in time. Uh, he landed on the platform too quick. He's dead. Yep. Yeah, that's... That's the stuff. Ooh. Three stocks the one into the second game. I mean, all Zab needs is one good hit. Jono will die, but... Um... Yeah, but I feel like a lot of people say yeah, that a lot of the time, but... He's not making it back. Oh, he... Oh, he's not Forwards are just that. not enough there. Yeah, 196, it's still living... Okay, that's... Vinay, nice. finally. Oh, oh tragic. JV3. Man, is that two, like... Technical SDs now, in a row. Yeah, actually. Yeah, because like the f the first uh, stock that um, Zav managed to get in game one, he like did that uh, neutral B read and then died, and then just there he did like a. Is that his? Hey, before the game starts, one thing off the process. Surely, come on. One game. I'm not very good at multi crosses. Oh, ah, damn. Alright, game. Alright, so we'll get back, back to the Back to Battlefield. Uh, after that last game, not sure how I feel about that choice. Yeah, like, again, there, there has to be a game plan that Zab is thinking about when he's taking this uh, map choice. But at the same time, it could probably just be a thing where he's probably thinking, well, on all these other maps that Jono wants, he could do this, this, and this. So maybe on Battlefield, he can eliminate something, but I'm not really sure what he's trying to find. Yeah, and again, after that last game where he just kind of got wrecked, um, yeah, sorry, Zaf. But I, if you're watching the board back, I'm sorry. I... Yeah, I mean, I wish I, wish I could have country. some advice, but... I, I don't really feel like I'm in the place to give advice, but I think if there's anything I've really noticed from an analytical standpoint, I think the big thing that a lot of players struggle with, and it's not even just a Zav thing, it's just a lot of players in general, I think Jono is so good at controlling the space that no one really knows how to kind of manipulate what Jono wants to do in his game plan. And I think the best way to kind of counter what Jono is doing is to... I don't know how to explain it, but it's like to anticipate when he wants to control the space and then when he wants to get it. That bomb b blow up was so lucky. Like, he was dead for sure. Yeah, I felt like he should have been uh, dead, but. Yeah. I'm surprised Zap hasn't been able to just find this kill. He's normally pretty good at that. Yeah. Jono. Jono's just really good at just walling out those options. Because he, know, he knows that um, Zap's trying to find a kill move here, so he's just trying to deny all these options. Good DI. I'm, I'm really surprised I didn't Yeah, 132 continue. will continue. Oh, oh my god, no jump. Is that... Te would, would we call that another SD? That was definitely an SD. Um, he fast fell past the ledge, had no jump. Yikes, man. This is, yeah, this is looking rough. I mean, look, 182, like a lot of things are going to kill he, he a young... Can do, he can do, I think he can get a kill. Okay, yeah, yeah there we right. go. Another JP3? I hope not. Let's see if he can get some damage in. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, got some Hold damage. on. Oh. He's, he's building? He's not building anymore. Got to 50 though, that's not too bad. Like, we'll, we'd take those. Ooh. Starting to put up a lot more pressure now, now that Jonah can kind of taste the blood. Smelling blood. J Dizzle Sizzle? Or was that? Uh, yeah, then that's gonna take it. Yep. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's, uh, that is a 3 0 to the J Dizz. By the so, way, uh, Nev, everything in Losers Round 2 is done, so uh, if you want, we can get Yeah, yeah, I can tell Marcel. Marcel, now that you've finished your conversation, get on and make that.